What's going on? Checking in. This is the KO Corner. You know, bringing you um, commentary in tonight's fight. It was a doubleheader with Charlo and Highland, and followed by the main event, which was Mikey Garcia versus Adrian Broner. Mega fight. The first fight was Charlo moving up to 160, testing it um, out of his weight and seeing if his powers translate. I guess a guy named Highland, I think he's from Argentina. This was his first fight in the United States. He's never been stopped or anything. Um, he came into the to the ring with a pre-existing injury. He had to tape his knee, but um, they told him he couldn't do it due to regulations. And it seems like he couldn't even plan all night how he was doing, how he was throwing shots. And he couldn't sit on anything. Um, people may think that it would be easier for Charlo to take him out due to he's being an injured duck, but it's actually harder if you've been in the ring because if a guy's injured, he's swinging from anywhere, all sides. You don't know where he's gonna hit you with, and it's hard to line him up because he's not in his proper boxing stance and he's swinging crazy and you don't want to get hit by anything so you have to be actually more cautious um but charlo he took care of business he got the guy out of here well the guy's corner was terrible highland's corner was terrible he should have been called to fight it was it was sad seeing the dude out there dude had heart but he couldn't even hold himself up when he got hit like if anytime momentum was shifted he couldn't and he, he couldn't even hold himself up man he would fall back they called the fight like three rounds too late, man. It was, it was sad. You know, but um, Charlo's... This, we really don't know how Charlo was going to do at 160. I'm pretty sure he, he, he'll do the same, but um, as far as the, the big guys in the division, that's up in the air. But I think he needs to take another fight before getting in the water with Danny Jacobs, Gennady, anybody, you know. But um, you'll say Charlo, he, I think he's a mandatory for... The winner of the winner of Golovkin Canelo, uh, but moving on to the uh, the main event, Broner versus Mikey Garcia. The fight's been shrouded in controversy for a while now. Um, a lot of people tuned in and watched the fight. It's a huge fight. Even ESPN covered it. Um, Broner came out the first round looking good and poised. I said if he boxes like this, he was actually showing movement, moving around. Um, Lat on his toes, sticking the jab out. But one thing I was noticing, he wasn't trying to hook. That's what he normally does. He sw he swings the left hook and the right hook. He basically chops away like he's chopping out a tree when he gets in his groove. He didn't do that, but he was looking good the first round, part of the second. And all that poised boxing and setting up the shots and going top to bottom just went out the window, man. He won a couple rounds here and there, man. But the shit the disappointed me, man. It's like, dude, he was getting beat up a lot of fights. Let's just be honest. He's getting his ass kicked. He let us down, you know. He said he was focused, not taking any calls. But what the hell was he focused on? He looked like the same Adrian Braun. He didn't even look as good as he looked at certain other fights, man. Like, he wasn't throwing the looping uppercuts. He wasn't throwing the chopping the hooks, you know. And he wasn't going down to the stomach and all that. It's just, he was getting beat up and outclassed, man. And it makes me look at him like, dude. That's one thing I give Floyd and other fighters, um, whether it be Bernard, um, any any fighter, if they have an issue, they try to work on it and improve. Adrian has always been a one size fits all type fighter. If he can't get it done his way or with a certain type of style, he doesn't conform, he doesn't change, he doesn't try anything different, he just stays in that fucking mode. And thinks it's gonna eventually come to him and sit in his lap, you know. And we see how this work out. Ah, I'm just disappointed in dude, man. So much talent. He had. If he actually got with some trainers, or got fuck, if he actually rebuilt himself, he could damn near be unstoppable, man. But dude is a fucking idiot, you know. And then talking after the fight, I thank y'all for making all this money. It's like a slap at the fans. And they're not gonna pay for you to see them. They, I mean, did if if they did, there'd be some idiots after shit like that unless you apologize. But um, it's just like the dude, dude's a dick, man. And I and I I really want him to win the fight. The dude, he just disappoints me constantly. And man, ah, I'm just I'm just through with it, man. Um, Garcia, you know, he's talking about moving down. A way of moving up to 147. I don't think he should move up to 147. I think he should take another fight at 140 and see how it goes. You know, um, 
and fight if he fights Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford is beating his ass. Let's just be 100. You know, he's talking about doing that shit. Lomachenko, Bud is going to beat his ass. Uh, and he, it's going to be easy work for Bud. But, um, Mikey might have a couple good rounds if that, but Bud is going to tear him apart either stance. But, um, yeah, that's 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 the KO Corners take on it. Adrian's a huge disappointment. He needs to fire his entire team, get with a new team, and rebuild himself. Because if he doesn't come back as a new fighter, he's done. You can rebuild yourself and become a new fighter and add things to it. I've seen Cotto do it at like 36, 37. I mean like 30, my fault, like like 35, I'll say that. 34, 35. Uh, so Adrian has time. I've seen a lot of fighters add stuff to it. Uh, but he has to be willing to listen. He says, all oh, this is a new AB, it's a new this and that. But he still does the same dumb shit. And he still has the same attitude. But man, I'm, I'm through with the brother, man. I roll with him. He, he's an embarrassment, man, for the talent level he had. It's just signing out, man.